Brandon, good luck tonight, man. Brandon the Beast, Hester. Knock him out, yo. Knock him out. Put him out, yo. We'll be there in your corner cheering you on to the fight, to your victory tonight. Do it up, Brandon. <laughs> And he's got a steering wheel sticking out of his pants. The bartender's like, yo, homie, what's up with that? Ah, it's driving me nuts. Uh, it's driving me nuts. <laughs> so, so him and the bartender start pounding shots, right? They're getting to know each other. The bartender's like, yo, bro, I like to ask you a couple questions. Just because I'm curious. How did you get that peg leg? Bart's like, ah, one day we fell overboard. The mate just was pulling me up, and a shark jumps up and rips off my leg. The first mate harpooned the son of a bitch. Oh, yeah, he's that night. Oh, so how did you get that hook on your hand? Ah, one day we was dueling with another pirate ship. The bastard cut off my hand, so I stuck my sword through his heart like a ship's Oh, damn, well, how, how'd you get that eye patch? Ah, one day we was looking to see the weather, and a seagull flies by and shit right in the eye. He's like, ah, you lost your eye from the seagull shit? Ah, first day with me, huh? <laughs> Mr. Kung Lee, always the best. We miss you, man. We miss you. It's good to see you, and I'm a big fan of yours and your brothers. Really great. Good to see you. Thank you. Thank you for you know sticking around for us. You know, group number 24. It took me a while to get in here. It took a minute, right? A couple beers and a little bit of video games. Guys, we gotta keep it going. We gotta keep it going. That's fine. Thank you. Appreciate it. Look at this. Trust me too. Thank you a lot. Fedor, Fedor, Fedor. Yeah, hopefully I get a chance to follow in your footsteps. This is good. My pleasure. Captain America. Always a good day. We got Captain America in the house. Yeah, thanks. When are you going to get back into it? We need you in there. They need you. They don't need me. The world needs you. I'm happy. I'm happy to retire. Yeah, that That's true. Fun. Enough fighting it. It's good. It's good. What are you doing now? Making movies. Oh, right. Feel about business right now. Randy, we salute you, Randy. The living legend himself. To the van. Pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you. Living legend. Thank you. Sakura, pleasure. Pleasure meeting you. Another legend. Definitely. I like, love your style, love your style. Good fighting style. Always the best. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. Thank Always you. the best. This is that city life everybody's all about. We got Brandon walking in. He's about to do his thing. If you look closely, you'll see a uh, hidden clue, if you will, uh, an Easter egg. Round one, Brandon's dominating this guy. Stick reversal, triangle, choke. It was super sick. I was too focused, I couldn't get it. Man of the hour. Look out there! Really good fights tonight. We enjoyed it. Brendan, you did it. You did it nicely. Very good triangle choke. We called it out. We saw you had the opportunity. Took it. It was great, Brandon. Keep it up. Keep it up. What do you think, Megan? Great job. Good job, Brandon. That fool was a beast. Every fucking time he got reversals, he was hitting elbows. That triangle. It wasn't even locked in all the way. His foot wasn't even fucking tough. He still tapped. That's the Ronda Rousey stuff right there. Yeah. Good fights. Good fights. Let's I'll just, say they're good fights. Let's just say he went 0 and 6, people. <laughs> We just got done over at the SAP Center watching uh, Brandon whoop some ass. He got that first round submission. Couldn't be more proud of, proud of the guy. Keep doing your thing. We got a uh, part two happening. 
Deshaun's trying to make his money back from uh, earlier. He, uh, math was not on his side tonight. So I figured I'd give him a second chance. We'll see. All right, you guys, we're back at the bowling alley. We got Juan Antonino versus Benji versus Guy Sean. No question. I'm going to put up like $100 tonight, just 100 and Juan Antonio's going to bet me, and I'm going to make my money back from what I lost at uh, the Bellator fights tonight. Someone who calls himself Guy Sean. Yeah, we got skills. Yeah, some people are not meant for this bowling life. Story of my life right here. This is what I was gonna say. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, even two on one is no match for Deshaun tonight. He pulled the Brandon and just won. He's better. He's better tonight. <laughs> Learn stuff that the government won't teach you. The schools won't teach you. Learn how to do your taxes. Learn how to make money for real. Oh, yeah. We at Cafe Deshaun. It's been a long night. But uh, we had to partake in a family style breakfast today. Time is a figment of your imagination. That's right. We're, uh, we're pressed for time. We got many projects to do today. We got to hit the road. We got to meet some people. We got to shake some hands. It's going to be another long day. The, the point I'm talking about is, you know, when you wake up in the morning, just go get your workout first thing in the morning before we put food in us, before we put stress on our shoulders. Just go ahead and get it in. Pay back yourself first for that first 45 minutes to an hour, and after that, then get into life. Get into the rest of the way that the day is going to do for you. And if you only have 20 minutes, get it in for that 20 minutes. Maybe every morning. Say you only got 20 minutes. Say you only got an hour in the morning. What should be the exercise or exercises at the most basic step? Boom. Kind of. You see it? See you said running, push-ups and sit-ups, push sit which is a combination of both of what they just said. So this I, said I, said jump, I said jumping jacks, push-ups and sit-ups. I was giving them three exercises. Jumping ropes, jumping jacks, running. You know, get your road work done, and then do your sit-ups and push-ups. Old school style. Old Don't school style. Yeah, you know, go all the way flat and all the way up. And, you know, when you're push-ups, you do the little dinosaur push-ups. Yeah. And then you do the one where you do the push-ups and hit them all in. And, yeah. You're doing good. That's what I'm saying? So we want to shape the entire body. That's right. <laughs> We made it to Fresno. Got to hang out with Brian at his uh, winery. Always a good day when you can say your roommate, your college roommate, has his own winery. It's pretty. Uh, it's pretty sick. It's pretty nice. He uh, he went all out. There's some quality stuff in here. If you're in Fresno, go to Toca Madera. You won't be, you won't be disappointed. Beautiful vineyard setting. It's pretty nice. With Brian and Lucas. What do you think of that wine? And we're having a little wine with us. What do you think? Really tasty. Really tasty. The rosé, the tempranillo is very nice. Subtle aromas. Mmm, the bouquet is quite floral though. For a rosé. Nice and sweet and dry. We got Hector coming out. He's right. Hector feeling ready. We got the crew out. Brandon from last night. Hector's up one round. It's looking pretty smooth. Hector make him have a bad day. Yeah, I wouldn't want to be that guy. So Hector does it. 
wins by unanimous decision. He took it. We got Russell making it out. Brandon in the corner. Brandon Casey. Coach Nico. Hector back out. Brandon, you put on a show last night. How you feeling? I'm feeling great, man. Like a million bucks. I wish my teammate would have came through with the W tonight. One of them did, so. It's all right. It's all right. You came through. Yeah. Great fights tonight. Joseph's in the ring right now. He put Russell out. Really, really good fight. The ladies ended the night. Jazz got taken down by uh, the Tank Girl. Really good fight. Good fight tonight. Everybody was great tonight. And then that happened. The uh, ring collapsed. Something about having 50 plus people. No bueno. How'd you get involved with this uh, mental mental helping performance? So basically, I was uh, initially a math teacher and uh, started coaching high, varsity high school sports. And really, when uh, it came down to it, I figured out what I loved the most about coaching was actually helping kids become better performers. Uh, the skill side was actually teaching a kid how to develop a skill was fun, but seeing them execute with excellence was where my greatest passion is and so that's where I really focused my career on. It's really really nice, really nice and you know once you get that blood flow it feels good you know up front before you get into the workout you're like oh please do I have to move my body today.